When people generally think of West Central Africa, they tend to think of the mostly dense rainforest climate and the wildlife which exists there. Yet, if you are specifically thinking of the nation of Cameroon, another feature should come to mind – volcanoes. There, only 22 kilometers inland from the Atlantic Ocean is one of the world's 10 largest volcanoes. Known as Mount Cameroon, it towers to a height of 4,095 meters or 13,435 feet, being so tall that its summit is often above the regional cloud level and, on occasion, allows it to receive some snowfall. Its landmass covers 1,450 square kilometers, and this volcano is quite active. Having last erupted in 2012, and with half a million people living on its flanks, this volcano poses a potentially wide-ranging threat due to its historical long-reaching lava flows. For example, in 1999, a flank eruption on the southern portion of Mount Cameroon sent a lava flow more than 14 kilometers to the south over a time span of 21 days. Covering a little more than 8 square kilometers in this time span, the lava flow in question stopped only 270 meters short of the coastline. While this historical eruption did cause property damage, a number of major cities around the volcano could one day be put at risk, such as Bua, due to the fairly wide distribution of lava flows Mount Cameroon has produced which, in the last 100 years, has gone in almost every direction. Additionally, in the event of a future eruption, some populated areas could be at risk due to carbon dioxide gas emitted by advancing lava flows, as carbon dioxide is heavier than air and thus could get trapped in areas that are surrounded on all sides by slightly higher terrain. The reason why Mount Cameroon exists is somewhat interesting. Zooming out, you might notice that Mount Cameroon is highly elongated to the northeast and southwest and quite narrow in a perpendicular direction. Zooming out further, we can see that this parallels with an extinct secondary peak known as Little Cameroon, but also a series of active and extinct volcanoes that stretch across other portions of Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, and Sao Tome and Principe. Altogether, this 1800 kilometer long trend is known as the Cameroon Line, and we are currently unsure why it exists. Adding to this mystery is the fact a trend of seamounts trends another 1900 kilometers to the southwest in the exact same orientation, going all the way to St. Helena. Thus, since our current science cannot adequately explain why the Cameroon Line exists, we simply call this region a mantle hotline. This is meant as a broad catch-all term to explain what this might be. This hotline has been the site of volcanic activity for approximately 50 million years, with no age progression trend in one direction to where volcanism occurred during this time span. Volcanism at Mount Cameroon began approximately 3 million years ago when along several points a lengthy dike intrusion caused a several kilometer long fissure to erupt onto the surface. Several hundred foot high lava fountains were generated which eventually fell back to the ground forming long and runny flows of basaltic lava. This process continued for some time before several vents in the chain became dominant. After several hundred thousand years of eruptions, Mount Cameroon most likely looked like a shield volcano, albeit without a summit caldera. You can see this stage of the volcano's lifespan by simply looking at its slopes, as there is an area where it jumps from a gentler to steeper slope, marking the boundary of more explosive volcanism. The more explosive volcanism, which produced VEI-1 to VEI-3 eruptions, sometimes produced more viscous trachyte and phonolite lavas which formed in Mount Cameroon's underlying magma chamber due to fractional crystallization combined with leaching of silica in the surrounding crust. This caused the volcano to build a steeper slope approaching 45 degrees in some directions. At a point likely around 100,000 years ago, a 1 mile wide and 3.4 mile long section of the volcano's western flank collapsed in what was in my opinion a large debris avalanche event. Since then, eruptions have on rare occasions occurred away from the volcano, such as at the Debuncha Mar, having mostly occurred at cinder cones and mildly explosive Strombolian eruptions in the central north to south line on the volcano. Since 1800, Mount Cameroon has erupted on average about once every 13 years. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.